guys, welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. I am very excited for this video. I am going to be sharing 50 gift ideas. And it's about 50 because there's a couple items that kind of have multiple items grouped into them. So it's around 50 gift ideas. And I spent a very long time compiling this list of like things that I was wanting for myself, things I already have and I love new things that I just happened to find while looking to make this video. So I have compiled a whole list to bring you ideas if you are looking for yourself or for someone else of what to get for Christmas this year. I tried to compile these into categories as best as I could because my law school gift guide was a little bit all over the place. I didn't spend as much time organizing that one as I tried to do on this one. But if you know a law student or you are a law student, be sure you go check out my law student gift guide video for some additional ideas. All right, let's just hop right into it and I will try to link as much as I can down below. First off, which is probably the most basic one that everyone gives is a candle. Number two is an air fryer bonus point if it's like an all-in-one kind of air fryer, like they have the Ninja Foodie that is a pressure cooker, a slow cooker, a dehydrator, and an air fryer all-in-one. And now they have various different versions. I do have one of these on my Christmas list. Originally, I wanted the Ninja Foodie and I think that was on our wedding registry, but I have since found another one that I liked better. It just looks a little more sleek and nice if maybe you don't have as much cupboard space and it's going to be sitting out on your counter. Number three is bartending accessories. We are getting ready to move into a new apartment and I definitely wanna be hosting which means I also need a bartending item so I can make all of our friends yummy, yummy drinks. I love like the gold ones. I've been super into gold accents. And it also just makes making your own drinks so much easier. Number four is glassware. We just bought some champagne flutes. I think I shared that in one of my last few videos. And we also need like whiskey glasses, wine glasses, just different stuff like that is always fun to have. I, at our California house, had like a wide array of various things. I had Moscow mules, I had martini glasses. There's so many fun shapes out there. So get creative with it. Number five is serving dishes. I feel like you can never have enough serving dishes. And personally for me, like when I'm hosting, it, it kind of goes with like what mood I'm in on what dish I want to serve it in or what the dish itself is. So I feel like you can never have too many serving dishes. Zach will tell me you definitely can't have too many, but I come from a huge foodie family and I always say I hate cooking, but secretly I do like it and I definitely love to host. Number six is a pasta maker. So I had put a KitchenAid mixer on our wedding registry, but nobody bought it. And one of the things I was excited to have a KitchenAid for was to get the pasta attachment so I could make my own pasta. Cause that's much easier than having to completely roll it out and cut it by hand. So like that's a lot of work, especially me. I'm not very strong, so it wears me out really fast, but they have like standalone kitchen gadgets that like roll and cut your pasta for you. And there's various like attachments that make the different shapes which is so fun, especially if you do like a make your own pasta kind of night would be really fun to do and you can have all the different like toppings for your pasta. Number seven is a Dutch oven. I love these for soups or making bread. Number eight, cookbooks. These are especially fun if you have like your own recipes or family recipes, if it's maybe for someone in your family or even for a friend, you put it in like a cute little book or a picture frame. I think this is the last kitchen one I have and it's a cast iron. Cast iron is gonna last forever. Need I say more? <laughs> Number 10, hair appliances. I think this year I have a, a very specific curling iron that I want. It's one that my hairdresser uses and it takes me forever to curl my hair, like over an hour. Her, she can probably do my hair in like 20 minutes. She uses a Paul Mitchell two and a half inch curling iron and it's one with like the gold barrel. Number 11, I also talked about this one on my law school gift guide and that is gifting experiences. I will always, always, always love being gifted an experience. I had put a couple different options on our wedding registry as well and we were gifted one of them, which was an indoor skydiving experience, which would just be so fun to do. You can look up places near you, like different kinds of activities to do. Here in Washington, DC, some of the ones I had on was the indoor skydiving, a dinner cruise, um, sporting event or a concert. There's also various like shows, like Broadway shows and plays. You could do like something for the movie theater or some kind of subscription. I would love like a meal kit subscription, even if you just purchase them like one time or a gift card for it is great. Number 12 is you could do like a themed gift basket. I love doing these. I feel like it's probably the number one gift that I give 
and I kind of just go based off of the person I'm giving the gift to, what kinds of things they like, their personality, that kind of thing. The easiest way I do this is I will go to the store and I will pick one item that I either think they would really like if I'm just browsing or one item that I know that they really want and I'll base the rest of the basket off of that theme. So for example, you could do a movie theme basket, you could do like popcorn, candy, maybe tickets to a movie, or like a Netflix gift card so they can pay for their Netflix subscription with it, something like that. You'd also do like a spa theme basket with bath salts or bath bombs, face masks, maybe new nail polish, some um, new pajamas. You could do like a gardening theme basket, a wine theme basket, some kind of cuisine basket. You can really do pretty much anything. Number 14 is a book. I love books. Now this will depend on the person you're gifting to or what you like to read. Number 15 is a coloring book. Number 17 is video games if your person likes to play video game. Number 18 is board games. We love playing board games. It's such a fun activity. We always end up dying laughing, especially when we're like having people over, doing dinner with our families. We love, love, love playing board games. Some of our, our favorites are Dominoes, Yahtzee, Uno. Wits and Wagers is a really, really fun one. That's a little bit less popular. If you haven't heard of it, definitely go check it out. It's kind of like a trivia type game, but it's really fun, like random knowledge type stuff. Number 19 is a puzzle. I love puzzles. And if you look on Amazon, like there are so many different types of puzzles out there. There's some really pretty ones. There's more realistic ones. My favorite puzzle brand is Dowdle, I think is how you say it. They do have them on Amazon, but I always find them for really cheap at Costco, especially around the holiday season. Costco usually has them for like around 10 bucks. Sometimes you can even find them for less than that. And there are just so many different puzzle art that they have out there for them. So you can really get creative, especially based on what the person you're looking to get a gift likes and enjoys. Number 19 is a plant. Even if you don't think your person can keep a plant alive, look into a spider plant. I swear you will never kill a spider plant. I uh, have had spider plants my entire adult life and I will not water it. It will be in a dark corner for six plus weeks and it'll be fine. Sometimes it'll like start to lose its color a little bit. It'll look a little bit gray and dull. I just give it some water, move it into a little bit more sunlight and it's good as new. We actually have a great, great, great grandbaby from one of my mom's spider plants and we've just continuously like taken babies off of other plants. And so we have quite a few of them. We actually, for our wedding, gifted spider plants from my mom's plant, which is kind of like a sentimental thing for us because we've always had a spider plant in one of our houses. My mom gifted me my first one when I moved into my first place. And when we moved to Washington DC, that was Zach's number one request was he wanted a spider plant. So for a couple of months, we pulled spider plants off of my mom's big one. We had like over 200 spider plant babies. And then we thrifted little tiny glasses. I will try to insert a picture here if I have one. I don't have our wedding photos back yet, so I don't have a whole lot. Um, but we thrifted little tiny glasses from the thrift store and we put the spider plants in them and we had one at every single place setting at our wedding, which is really sweet because there's like a history behind all of those. So bonus points if you can get a cute little like trinket type dish or if you have one like at your house, like I was thinking what would be so sweet is maybe if you have like kids or grandkids, you have a set, you could put a plant into like one little like teacup or glass from each of the set and give it to them. Maybe if you you guys as a family always ate together on that set, I think would be really sweet. Number 20 is a blanket. Like you can never have too many blankets. Zach will tell me otherwise, but you never have too many blankets. There's just so many options out there for like thickness and fluffiness and softness and all the different like colors and patterns. And I'm a sucker for cheetah print. So like, I would love to have a cheetah print blanket. I don't have one yet. Number 21 is a massage gun or like a percussor is the technique name for it and this is great they can be a little bit difficult to use if you like live by yourself but if you have someone else you live with they can like use it on your neck your back it will really help like soothe and loosen up your muscles especially after a long day number 22 is a bluetooth water bottle i talked about this on my law school gift guide and i have one of these but i unfortunately left it in california this thing is so cool. It's rechargeable and you download an app on your phone. You can like set a goal for how much water you wanna drink and it will measure how much water is in your bottle. So then you can drink it and it will update how much you've drank that day on your app. And then what's really cool is in order to keep you on track to meet your goal, if you are falling behind, the bottom of the water bottle will light up different colors and like flash and stuff 
to alert you that you need to be drinking in order to stay on track to meet your goal. I love this for like work or when I'm sitting at my desk studying and I just get in the zone and I completely forget that I need to be drinking water. It'll just go off and remind me that I need to drink my water. So keeps you staying healthy and hydrated. Number 23 is a travel jewelry organizer. Number 24 kind of goes back to like the subscriptions and gift baskets. And this is like a garden harvest basket. If you have your own garden, you could do that. I think like putting like veggies and fruits from your garden, which obviously going into winter, you're kind of limited on what you could include. And I think if you have like chickens, you could also include fresh eggs. If you like to bake, you could do fresh bread or homemade jams. Just kind of like a little like harvest homesteading basket I think is really fun. Number 25, we have an electric lighter. Next we have some clothing items. So number 26 is a winter jacket, especially if you live somewhere cold. Number 27 is a beanie. I feel like you can never have too many beanies. Number 28 is a scarf. You can never have too many scarves to match whatever you are wearing. Number 29 is socks. I love socks, especially fuzzy socks. Number 30 is slippers. I have slippers on right now. I always have slippers on at home because my feet are always cold. And I love just like walking around the house, doing my chores with them on. It makes it so much better than the cold hard floor. Number 31 is a pajama set bonus for holidays like Halloween or Thanksgiving or Christmas. Number 32 is winter boots. We are going into winter. So having a nice solid pair of winter boots is perfect to have. Number 33, a three in one wireless charger. This is perfect if you have like multiple um, wireless devices. So you can charge your phone and your Apple AirPods and your Apple watch on this all at the same time. So then you don't have multiple cords to everything or one item is dead because you're having to charge something else. Number 34 is an item that we were gifted for our wedding and it is a picnic basket or what we were gifted is a picnic backpack, which I love because it's much easier to carry around than a basket. Like, especially if you wanna go hiking or something or if you're like walking down the beach it's just easier to carry when it's on your back. But if you do gift a picnic backpack, you may also want to gift a picnic blanket because I personally don't want to sit on the dirty ground. Number 35 is a heated foot massage. So this, you just slip your feet in, it's heated so it's nice and warm and it just massages your feet, which is perfect after a long day, especially if you have a job where you work on your feet. Number 36 is a bath tray. We also got one of these for our wedding and I love it. It has a little spot for your wine glass, a phone holder or a book holder. It has various areas to put like a candle and snacks or whatever else you might need while you're taking your bath. Next, I have roller skates. I think would be so fun, especially with spring coming up to just roller skate around Washington DC. Especially if you live in like a small apartment like we do, a bike is just too big and clunky and you just don't have room for it. So roller skating is perfect because they're small and compact. Number 38, I saw someone share this on Instagram and I thought this was genius. And it is a skylight digital picture frame. So you guys have probably seen digital picture frames before. They were really popular, maybe like 10 to 15 years ago. You can like upload your own pictures to it. And it's basically just a slideshow. Well, the skylight one, connects to an app. So you could gift it to someone like your mom or grandparents and from your phone on the app, you can upload the pictures to it. So even without them knowing, you could change the pictures that are on there, which I think is fun, especially if you are the one who has it. Like you could just be walking by it one day and be like, oh, that picture's new. I haven't seen that before. Number 39 is a candle warmer. Like I said, I do not like fire. It freaks me out. I don't know why, like I've never had a bad experience with fire. I just, I don't like it. So the candle warmer is great because it's a great way to burn your candle without a flame and it looks cute and still has that ambiance like a flickering candle does. If you travel or the person you're looking to give a gift to travels, Apple Air Tags are great. You can just throw them in your luggage so you can track your luggage in case it were to get lost or unfortunately stolen. But if you are gonna give Apple Air Tags, I would also recommend getting the Apple Air Tag cases. That way you could clip them onto something and they don't get lost in all of your your belonging. Packing cubes are another great gift to keep items organized when you're traveling in your suitcase, especially when they get thrown around being loaded and unloaded from the plane and baggage claim. Your items can easily get jumbled around, but packing cubes will help to keep them nice and organized. Number 43, I also saw on Instagram and that is a couch table. I would love to have it like for our couch here because if we are like watching TV, you know, our drinks and stuff, we can't just sit down. We have to either like put it on the table that's farther away so every time we want our drink we have to get up and drink it 
or you have to set it on the floor and reach over and grab it off the floor. So this is great because you can just have your drink right there next to you. Number 44 is an item I definitely need because I'm always cold. And unfortunately I do have Raynaud's syndrome. So I always lose blood circulation in my hands in the winter. And that is rechargeable hand warmers. I think these are perfect because I always have the issue of them getting cold too fast. And also it's just creating unnecessary waste. So if you can recharge them, then you can still use the same ones over and over again. Number 45 is an automatic pan stir. This would be so great when I make my garlic cream sauce because I'm always worried about the garlic burning on the bottom of the pan, especially when I have like other items going on that I'm cooking that also need my attention and I might not be able to stir it as consistently as I need to. Number 46 is an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. I definitely need this because my ring is morganite, not a diamond. Well, on my center stone is morganite and it gets cloudy pretty fast if you know anything about morganite it has a tendency to do that. I tried cleaning it, but it never gets as clean as when it's cleaned at the jeweler. And that's because they use an ultrasonic device that kind of vibrates it to shake all of the dirt out. This is pretty affordable for what I thought it would cost. I think this would be a great gift to have to keep your jewelry nice and shiny. Number 47 is a tile doormat. We had one of these on our registry, but nobody purchased it for us. But I think these are so cool. So it's basically a, I think it's like rubber doormat and it has individual pieces that clip in. So it's completely customizable. You can put any word or any design onto it that you want. They even make add-on packs of different colors so you can change the colors out with the seasons, which is so handy. And I love that it's rubber because it would be easy to clean. Whereas the like ones that shed a lot, just like get so dirty and fade so fast. Number 48 is a Hatch Sunrise Alarm Clock. I definitely need this because when we get up for work, it's still so dark out and it makes me not want to get up. So the Hatch Sunrise Alarm Clock slowly starts to brighten until the time that you need to be up. So if you would normally set your alarm for 530, Maybe at 5.15 it starts to brighten slowly so that way you are waking up at 5.30. And I believe the hatch ones are also a white noise machine if you're the kind of person who needs white noise or just some kind of noise playing in the background. And lastly, I don't know how to say this one, we have a QB charger and a backup device. So what it does is you can plug it into the little wall adapter that you have so it's always plugged into your charger. So. You have a wall adapter, you put the QB in, and then you can put your phone charger, USB charger into that. So as you're charging your phone, your photos will automatically be backing up and it uses a micro SD card so you don't have to pay for like a subscription or anything else that like iCloud and Google Photos make you pay for. And then it has a the USB attachment that plugs into the wall adapter. You can also take apart and plug into your computer. And I believe they also have an app that you can access all of your photos from as well. So that is all of my gift ideas. I hope you guys found something that interest you or something that you want to purchase for your loved one. If you did, be sure to comment down below because I'd just love to see what you guys found useful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's episode of Vlogman. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running